Hello, welcome to another video by Moxa Marine. In this video, I am uh, taking a 5.0 liter engine. This is not it. There's, the 5.0 has already been uh, dismantled. Um, but I'm, I took the customer's 5.0 and bought a uh, 5.7 long block. And I'm swapping all the accessories from the 5.0 to the 5.7. Um, but one of the problems you face when you upgrade from a bigger, from a smaller to a bigger engine is you've got to feed the engine with more fuel. And so there's a specific way of doing that and a precise way of doing that. And I'm um, going to explain kind of your three options to doing that. So you have three options to increase the fuel supply when you go from a 5.0 to a 5.7 or from a 5.7 to a 6.2, whatever. So anytime you increase the engine size, you got to increase the fuel to go with it. So the three options are... Um, the most one of the ways is you can take the computer, which is uh, in this case is an MEFI four computer. It's this one right here. This is the, uh, the computer that's running this engine. It's called an MEFI four. Somewhere it's written on there, right there. MEFI four. So this computer is programmed to run this engine, the 5.0. But if you uh, notice um, the injector part numbers for the 5.0, for this particular style and year engine, the 5.0 injector part number and the 5.7 injector part number are the same. So what that means is I've got the injector, um, I guess, held back. Since this injector, the injector size in this engine are big enough to run a 5.7, the uh, injectors are held back by the computer to run a 5.0. So that's one way you can get this thing to run a five. You don't have to change injectors. You just have to get the computer reprogrammed so that it knows it's running a 5.7 versus a 5.0. And to do that, yeah, there's several companies across the country that you can send to, and for $500, they will make a programming change and download a 5.7 calibration instead of a 5.0. Uh, personally, I think that's a bit steep. Uh, I could I could do it, but um, the fellow that sells the software will not sell it to me because he wants to, uh, I guess, hog the market and do this for himself. Uh, he used to sell it, but he's not selling it. He won't sell it to me anyway. Um, I've asked him several times, and he gets kind of vague and just says, just send me $500 or send me the computer and $500, and I'll do it for you. Well, I don't want to do that. I'll figure out another way, which I've done. So the um, that's one way is to get the computer reprogrammed and get more uh, more output from your fuel injector just by telling the computer to pump more fuel or spray more fuel. The other way is you can increase the fuel pressure. I believe the fuel pressure on this system runs, uh, I'm gonna say 43, 45 PSI. There's a shredder valve on here somewhere where you can check the fuel pressure. Let me see if I can find it. Right here, there it is. So that's that's a shredder valve that you can take this off. So when the engine's running, you can hook up a fuel pressure gauge to the shredder valve and you can measure your fuel pressure. And stock is, I think, uh, stock, not idle, but, um, under full load, the pressure, I think, is about, I want to say, 43 to 45 PSI. At idle, this is what's called a vacuum uh, reference pressure regulator. This line right here, this hose right here, connects to your intake manifold. Connects right there. And so at idle, the uh, vacuum inside the engine lowers your fuel pressure down to 39 or somewhere around 39 PSI. And the reason it does that, because the injectors are spraying, you got a fuel pressure, you got pressure in your fuel rail, and the ejectors, but the other end of the ejector, the tip, is spraying either against a extreme negative pressure when the engine's idling, vacuum, or when it's at wide open throttle, it's spraying against uh, atmospheric pressure. So in order to keep a constant differential between the injector tip, the inlet and the outlet, you vary the fuel pressure based on the engine load so that it's, so the fuel, the fuel, uh, the capacity of the fuel injector doesn't change depending on uh, load. And that's why it's vacuum reference, but that's a whole nother issue. So the bottom line is that if you change this regulator or somehow put an adjustable regulator and raise the pressure from 43 to 45 PSI, you can get more flow out of your injectors, a, con a consistent higher flow, and uh, you can run, um, run the same injectors with the same computer without, we don't have to reprogram the computer, you just have to raise the fuel pressure and uh, then you can uh, run a 5.7. That, well, that particular method is a little sloppy. Um, this this is a nice regulator setup, but it's not adjustable. So you'd have to put a, uh, you'd have to gut this regulator and put you a regulator here. This is the return line here. That's going back out to your, uh, back to your uh, tank. Actually, it's going back to the uh, fuel, fuel cell up front. 
you would have to put a regulator here and go out with this this hose, take this hose off, put a regulator here, and then put the hose back on it. And you'd need an adjustable regulator so you could raise the fuel pressure. Well, that's kind of complicated and messy, and, and this is not the way I would I would prefer to do it. So that's the second way. The third way, and to me the easiest way, maybe not to somebody, but to me, is you change out your injectors. So these are all injectors. Like I said, they're rated to flow 5.7 but they are held back by the computer. Well, to get more flow, I can put a bigger injector in here, replace these injectors with bigger injectors. They're still held back, but because they're bigger than factory, bigger than stock, they would flow the amount of fuel for a 5.7. So this is where um, I deviate from most of my videos. Um, the, most of my videos, I'm giving you basically free information, not charge you for it, other than your views are helping me make a, a, a minuscule amount of money off YouTube. But, um, what the, the, the method I do this or the, the, my process for choosing the injectors and, and installing bigger injectors is, uh, what I consider a trade secret. So I'm not really going to tell you how I do that. Um, what I will tell you is that, um, I'm going to start selling bigger injectors to, so you can upgrade your 5.0 to a 5.7. If you have fuel injection, you can buy the bigger injectors from me and I'll already have them figured out for you and you just install new injectors. So that's where I'm at with this video. I'm fixing to take these fuel rails off. You take, the, there's a screw dip right here and a screw right down there, right there. There's another one there. And by the way, these are um, studs, not screws. Um, another one here. So you take all these four, these four bolts holding your fuel rails down, pull the fuel rails. So you you kind of have to wedge them off. You uh, can get a flat blade screwdriver and wedge these fuel rails up and pull your injectors out. Uh, by the way, take a, a blow gun, air gun, and, and blow out the uh, holes in here where the injectors are so trash doesn't fall down in there because that, that will leave a hole down in your engine. Um, get these injector rails off, swap out all the injectors with uh, different injectors, and then put it back together, and I'm done. That's all I have to do to make this, five, uh, this computer system and MPI system run a 5.7 when it used to run a 5.0. Um, and I have the injectors precisely sized to do that. But like, again, like I said, that's a trade secret that I'm really not going to share in this video. This is going to let you know that I'm in the future, I intend to start selling the injectors you need to upgrade your 5.0 to a 5.7. And uh, I'm not going to gouge anybody. I'm just going to make a reasonable amount of money for my knowledge and uh, time spent putting the uh, kit together. So that wraps up this video. I'm about like saying, I'm, gonna, I'm not really going to show how I do the swap the injectors out. You just take the rails off. There's little clips that hold the injectors on. Pull the clips back, pop the injectors out, put a new injector in, put the clips back on. Uh, by the way, when you put the injectors back in the hole, you can um, lubricate the O-rings. Uh, the injectors have to go back into the rail and into the engine. So you can lubricate, lubricate the O-rings on both ends with uh, transmission fluid, ATF, and it makes it go in a lot easier.